Hi, my name is Mattis. I'm going to show you how to solve simultaneous equations on the HP 48G series calculators. So I have a simultaneous equation here that I'd like to solve for x, y, and z. So the first thing I'm going to do is on my calculator, we're going to click our green button, click solve, and go down to Linsys, which is linear system. So it's going to ask for a matrix. So the first thing we're going to want to do is click edit. So click this button right here. And so all we're going to put in right here is the coefficient in front of the variable we're trying to solve for. So, so we have 3x plus 5y plus 10z equals 4. So we're going to ignore the 4, 7, and 14 on this part. And we're only going to write the coefficients. So we have 3. And it's going to have 5. We have 10. And it's going to go to the fourth box over here, but we need to click down and it'll start our next row. And it's going to define that row so we're going to know exactly, or it's going to know, that it doesn't need to go past the third row on any of these other ones. So then we're going to put 8, negative 2, and 3. So that's just a coefficient on our second equation. And it's going to automatically jump down to this third box because we defined it up here that we're going to have a 3x3 three three matrix. So for our last one, we're going to have negative 10, negative 2, and 8. So negative 10, negative 2, sorry about that, negative 2, and 8. So we'll just check it real quick beside, make sure we got it. Let's see. 3, 5, 10, 8, negative 2, 3, negative 10, negative 2, 8. Okay. So once we get our matrix form, it's going to go down to the fourth box where it's going to click enter. And so now if you look up here at the top of the screen, this is the formula that the calculator is using to solve the matrix. So we want to find our variables x and we've given it our coefficients a. So in this second set, b is what all three of the coefficients and their variables equals. So we click edit on b. And for this one, we're going to put our four numbers on the right side of the equation, 4, 7, and 14. We're going to do it like so. Four. And then it's going to go over, and we got to go down and define it for this line. And that'll be seven. And that'll be 14. It's going to go down to the fourth line. We're just going to go ahead and click enter. So once you've defined the matrix and its answers, just go down to this on our X, which will be what we're solving for. And just click solve. And it's going to give you the, the coefficients x, y, and z that solve the linear system. And you can leave this and go back to the home screen. I find it's a little easier if you click edit right here. And then you can just clearly see exactly what each of them is. So this is x, this is your y value, and this is your z value. And it's not really a cooked problem, so the numbers aren't beautiful. But these are the numbers that if you plug into the equations that we have here for x, y, and z, they will all equal 4, and then the second equation will equal 7, and the last equation will equal 14. And that's all you need for your simultaneous equations. Thanks.